Hello everybody. Good evening. So, um, today's the uh, 2nd of December. Uh, it's already December, like time flies. Um, and yeah, this was what we did. No, we didn't do this last week. So last week what we did was we did like, um, uh, you know, no paint uh, and we, we selected our, our uh, limited palette uh, for this month. Um, and the limited palette for this month, December, I think I, um, I decided to call it festive festive uh, palette. It is, uh, hey, hi, hey, hey, you're always the first one, Paolo. Some reason it's not appearing on um, my, um, what do you call that, the, 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 the uh, stream lab, stream labs again. <laughs> hello, Rhapsody, hello, everyone. Hello, uh, Paolo and, and Rhapsody. Oh, I'm so bad at, I think yeah, you know, I think it's faster to, to actually, um, uh, type, like, I, I, actually it's faster to watch this on, on YouTube, like, I'm watching this on YouTube, and it's just, it's just happening real time, but somehow the image is not following, I, I don't know, like, I am, I think, as fast as the, as the chat, um, but, uh, the, 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 the screen is just a bit slower, so I don't know what's happening. Again, like it always happens. Um, anyway, I forgot to write the name. I'm just going to write the name down. I'm going to call this the festive. Festive palette. It's just such a, yeah, it's just palette. Yay, I am feeling festive. <laughs> Hello, CB. Yes, and you are MECCB today. Will you like guys like to see like the finished product? Remember last week we were like, doing the Lego thing. Um, this one. Remember, like all oh, of you were like, I, I, it's just funny that that I I, I was it's funny because when I posted the the pic, I mean the the, the announcement, <laughs> it said I said like oh let let me do this. It's six hundred and fifty one pieces. I'm gonna do this in fifteen minutes. It is impossible to do so in 15 minutes. It took DRJS Pro and I like two and a half hours to finish. Okay. I'm gonna unveil. I'm gonna unveil uh, what we have. So let me just keep the the the, 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 the paint the paint the painting, the sketchbook to the side. And let me unveil what we have. So first up. Which comes as a part of the um, the whole thing is this little I don't know what you call this little chair thing. It's a it's like an umbrella, and then there is like um like a stool two stools, and there's a little table with the cups. So as you can see, the little cup has got this little like I think I just have to take it out. See the little cup? It has like a little sticker. So this is like a traditional cup that we use in Singapore. So this is like a traditional coffee cup. Yeah, I thought this is like really, really, really cute. Like, I think you guys can't. I'm not sure if you guys can see this. It's super duper cute, all right? So I'm just going to put this back. And there are other stuff as well. Like, as you can see, um, there are little bowls of, I don't know what this is. Um, I think DRJS Pro just made it. And um, there's eggs as well. So this is the small little, like, kind of a side table that they actually included in the set. So now, for the real thing, so this is the one, so this is how it looks, um, okay, the front, okay, so this one actually opens up, so this is one shop house, I think it's like bottoms up, so if I turn this up this way, this is like a front of it, as you can see, um, so there's this um, second level, so copy street, so it's really cute, so this is like the, 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 the ground level, <laughs> yeah, I wonder if he had. So this is the ground level, and this is like the second level, and you have these little cute um, coffee cup and and two slices of bread at the top. Like normally, um, if you look at the Singapore shop front, I think CB might 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 have seen it so many times. He will probably know like uh, we always have two levels: the one at the ground floor with the store, and in the top, like nobody knows what they do upstairs. And that cute little Revan <laughs> minor thing is just sitting there. <laughs> it's so cute, isn't it? And then can you see there's a little cat? There's a cat here. So this is the little cat. I think this is pretty, really cute. So this is a cute little cat over here. And they have like little 
like um pieces some of these flowers that's like everywhere oh i forgot to show you guys like this is the coffee cup right and then we have the the, the bread right and then we also have at the back here like a dish with two eggs over here this is so cute and like this is the front and the back is like that so this is the back so it has a back door like a door that you can like open so you know your um uh lego door and then you have the uh, 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 uh leather that allows the person to climb up but nobody's gonna climb up this way because i've not seen anyone does it yeah it's so so really cute right it's a super cute see and it has this like um i think it's like a it's like a lamb and no that's not the end let me show you the interesting part is when you open it up so can you see you can actually open it and you can see like um over here you have all these like condiments i don't know like coffee kaya kai some kind of jam called coconut jam and all these like um canisters of coffee and and, and other stuff <laughs> <laughs> it's really cute. Okay, I'm going to make something out of gingerbread cookies. <laughs> and you can eat it. <laughs> no! <laughs> you don't want to eat something like that. And the, cute, the cutest thing is, can you see the sink? He has a little cute sink over here. Like even the, 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 the sink is made from like clear plastic. You see that? It's so cute. And, and there's like, I think some of these like cabinets where you can keep all these And there's like a little, I don't know if you can see like this This is like a succulent, like a cactus And then you of course you have that like coffee place where you drink coffee And this is where they make, make bread and they have all the flour and stuff So, oops, oops, ah! Uh oh <laughs> I lost a piece of, oh no where does it go? <laughs> oh my god, I think it's here Whoops nearly lost it okay so this is this is the shop pretty cute huh so I, unfortunately i think this is the only one that they have right now but i'm hoping that they come out with new ones um new designs like for other stuff because i think this is super cute isn't it oh how much did i say it costs again 12.90 it's just 12.90 you go to cheers it's 12.90 like like this this baby here it's so much work um, and it's still 90 and it's pretty small so you see I think I can compare it my handphone so this is my iPhone it is like the size of an iPhone so it's tiny and it's like 1290 you know um, I don't know I think if you're like into uh, Lego I, I think you can try to get it um, the only issue or problem with it is it's just so small so your fingers are gonna be really, really difficult like <laughs> difficult to it's very hard for you to put them in and if you get like some issue you need to take it out you, you <laughs> you'll have a problem but i think with the rjs pro yeah i didn't have too much of that issue so yay so if you guys um i don't know if you want to just let me know i can buy and send it to you guys and you can make it yourself ha 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 <laughs> yeah it is really good quality huh chris uh, yeah, and I could like that's true. Like I could I could display it like close, and I can open it halfway and can see what's inside. So you can display it, like, and you can display it from the back. But I think the only problem is it doesn't have any people in it because it's tiny. So I don't think they make tiny people. So if you're gonna like include a person, it has to be really tiny, which I don't think you can use any Lego people because the Lego people will be too they will be too big. Um, yeah, the size just doesn't match. So that's the only issue. That I can see from this set. Ah, CB says on Amazon in the UK there are loads of Japanese style shops. Ah, yeah, I think we bought a few. Um, Dia Jeff Pro and I we bought from Taobao a few of these like Japanese inspired. <laughs> oh, Lego Baby would work. Uh, yeah, maybe. Yeah, I should go and steal one of those like Lego babies that we have. <laughs> a poor baby's in the shop all by himself. Maybe I should get a few babies. <laughs> whole family of babies okay so this is the lego so we are going to i've decided like i'm gonna sh i'm gonna like share this to the um instagram group because we have a short front challenge group right on instagram so i'm gonna share this on in on the on the first week uh of this of 2023 and um, that would be our short front challenge like wow short front challenge has been going on for two years and we're going to three years which is i i do not i do not know like i i can't imagine how long 
Uh, oh, wow, it's like I've been doing this for so long. Somehow, you know, but I, I think I still love it. You know, this is the thing about doing something that you like versus doing something just because you need to do it. Is you could just do it forever. You know, I think I could. Hey, Pain in Hiding, hello, how are you? Yay, have you been, has your Taobao staff arrived? I, I, I think um, Taobao just, um, my staff have arrived. Uh, we bought like a few, I, I bought some like Lego-ish stuff for DRJS Pro and bought some paint, I bought some palette um, and it's supposed to arrive uh, in Singapore, so it's already arrived in Singapore, took them about a month, you know, because the, you know, our, um, what do you call that, 11th uh, 11th was like about a month ago, um, it took them about a month for the stuff to come, but I don't blame them because China has this uh, lockdown here and there. So it's just difficult for them. Like in fact, we had to cancel um, an order uh, from for DRJS Pro because he 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 ordered something and they couldn't send it out at all. Aha! <laughs> uh -huh. There, hold on. Oh, <laughs> Paolo says, "I wish I had a bakery patisserie. Oh, you could, oh, but not in a door form. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I want. What do you mean not in a door form? Do you mean like you you had an actual?" Paolo, do you mean you, you want to have a bakery and a patisserie? Or you mean you want you wanted a Lego set that is of a bakery and patisserie? Uh-huh. Oh, you're saying for you. Okay, you don't like to interact with people that much. No, I, I think it's fine because if you have a bakery or a patis patisserie, you could do that like in the kitchen and you can get someone, uh, you know, like your wife or your daughter or someone, you can hire someone to just go in front um, like to sell stuff for you and to talk to people and you just you know bake stuff at the back and watch them from behind and see how they enjoy your bread so yeah no worries I think that's actually okay <laughs> oh you like to have a real bakery but people nah, okay <laughs> you know like me like I, I, I had this space in my life I wanted uh, to have a cafe but of course it's difficult to have a cafe in Singapore it's just so expensive <laughs> okay Pain in hiding says, "Oh, oh, what? Why can't they send out the RJS Pro's order? Oh, because um, unfortunately, it's uh, a shop. It's located in in Guangzhou, and Guangzhou was having or is still having, I don't know, a, a lockdown, so they couldn't send stuff out. Like no one is working, so they are saying like, you know, we can't fulfill your order, so we had to cancel it. But they refunded, which so is which is okay, you know. <laughs> yeah." <laughs> In yours all the way. Awesome. Like to see what you have. You gotta show that. Are you going to film a video, paint hiding, and share it on uh, YouTube? Love to see that. <laughs> yeah, you see, Chris, you can do the painting, do the baking, everybody do the serving. I will come and visit like if you have a shop like in and I will like try your, your cakes, all marvelous cakes that you have. <laughs> Recipe says at least painting shop front until one day you can actually own one that which is a company. Yeah, you know which is what I think. You know, one my ultimate 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 dream. I don't know. I mean I'm just saying coiling toying with it in my head is to actually have a shop house, like an actual like heritage level shop house, and to do like uh maybe have a workshop space on the first level, on the top level, and have a cafe for jamming and, and for, for selling art. Pieces for urban sketches to to go um, join and with a, at a discount. Uh, maybe you know you you could you could sell your stuff. They can commission. I mean not commission. They could put their stuff on at at, at, at the uh, gallery um, cafe place that I will have, and and you know they can earn a little bit. It's it's kind of giving back to the to the community as well. And of course, getting people to just kind of kind of like hang out together. I think it'd be fun, you know. <laughs> Yeah, I wish. That's like my ultimate, I would say. Um, I never, another ultimate uh, kind of a dream is for me to, you know, um, go overseas and do like a uh, workshop, you know, plan there. Um, and people just hang out with me along the street and we go painting together. Yeah, I think that is just something that, yeah, would make me really happy. Um, yeah, in my life. <laughs> yeah, that, that sounds absolutely lovely, right? <laughs> yeah, Pain Hunting says, Oh, okay, gonna do a whole video. Gonna be my first top of haul. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you should show us how big that container is. <laughs> I think the, uh, DRJS Pro probably got like a whole uh, 
I, I think the whole shipment that I will uh, that I will get like this this week or maybe next week, like ninety percent will be his stuff, and like a sl- small little ten percent will be mine because Lego sets are so big. You know what I mean? <laughs> ah, DHS Pro says. Oh, no, 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 no. Sorry, CP says. Oh, you're really thinking about a craft shop, Lego shop in Spain? What really? Oh, that's nice. Do 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 that, please. And then I could go. We could go Portugal and. And, and Spain at the same time. So we'll go Spain to visit uh, Chris's uh, craft shop, and then we'll go to uh, Portugal to 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 go to Paulo shop. <laughs> I think that watching the TV show below that. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Don't don't be. I mean, people can be mean, but I I guess you just be yourself. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I can't. I can't comment. But anyway, let's go back to uh, what we are supposed to do today. We are supposed to use um, this palette. Like we have our festive palette, right? Ah, oh, festive palette. So uh, the three colors in the festive palette are uh, green, appetite, genuine. So if you don't have this, this is from Daniel Smith. So if you don't have this, you can use set green. Set green, everyone has, so no problem. Go and have it. Uh huh, and then you have uh, Rembrandt's Indian Red, so you can use any Indian Red you want, but I think um, it is probably the closest to Paralene Maroon if you doesn't if you don't have that Indian Red, you can also use the uh Midazola Brown, okay, and then um you the next color is a yellow. This is uh, Mission Gold Spring Gold. It's also called Azel Yellow PY one five zero. So these are the three colors. Um, note note please note that we don't have a blue. So this is not a primary uh, primary palette. There's no way you can get purple or blue. Yeah, so very much you just have uh, browns, orange, uh, green, green, red, yellow, brown, and orange. That's all you have, okay? So I don't know. I, is this going to be a really limited, limited palette um, if you guys... Uh um yeah realize okay so now I have to hunt down my colors I don't know where they are <laughs> oh, there you go <laughs> bestie palette right it's like a Christmas palette I could just call it Christmas palette oh you guys talking about the under deck or oh, below deck right ah okay I didn't watch it I I don't know yeah. Is it is it on G like like HBO or something? I'm paying in hiding says ah, I didn't even notice there wasn't a blue. Oh. Okay, yeah, I, I guess that's that's how life is. Like you can't control other people. Just you can control yourself. Just be yourself. I don't know. I mean, yeah. Who am I to give advice? But this is my inner red. Okay, where is my green appetite? I have to look for it. Where is it? Okay, I, I'm looking for Azo Yellow. Where's my Azo Yellow? Oh, I know where they are. Okay. I have to use the other palette. My Urban Sketching palette. What? Everyone? <laughs> there. Ah, we don't like the influencers. Okay. Oh, my stream is definitely a birthday. <laughs> yeah, we are all well behaved. <laughs> We are real. <laughs> yes, DRJS Pro says hi. Hi, DRJS Pro. We're just talking <laughs> about the. Uh, about, I just shared what we did with the. Um, what do you call it? The Lego. Right? That's done already. <laughs> I need to curb my appetite. Oh my god, Paolo. <laughs> that, that is a. Uh, mm, very good. <laughs> very good joke that you made. Okay, let me look for my urban sketching palette because I do have my colors everywhere. I don't know how you guys organize stuff. Like, I can't. Uh, <laughs> every now and then we get a little AI. You mean the RJS Pro, huh? <laughs> okay, there. So, where's my palette? Okay, so, oh yeah, you know, one of the stuff that I got on... Um, this is my urban sketching palette. So, one of the things that I got from... How about right this this haul is I got a smaller version of this so this is the big version this is the one with the uh, twenty four um half pen right um I got this during the last Taobao I mean the last haul that I did 
Um, yeah, and this time I decided that yeah, I am gonna get the small one because that's the smaller one. So this shop actually has got many palettes. Um, yeah, so I could share this. I might like do a haul video. I wouldn't say a haul, but I would do a video to just share like how um the 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 few to compare the palettes that they have because this this company from Taobao, um this Chinese company, um they they make really interesting palettes. They 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 kind of I don't know. I think they are very good. I can't get this out. Oh my god. Okay, I actually use um this the um the uh, sticky tag right ah, and it's like so sticky I can't even get it out no no get it get out <laughs> ah! frustration oh my god so sorry like I, I'm just like short of swelling swearing on YouTube come on oh come on oh. Uh, oh no! <laughs> what? Zuhan is here! <laughs> hold on, hold on! There, there, there! Oh, oh, oh! I wonder if Zuhan is lurking. Cough, cough! <laughs> Zuhan! <laughs> That's funny! <laughs> How you guys know he's lurking? Like, I don't even know he's lurking! <laughs> Hello, Zuhan! <laughs> I think he knows. Like, Pain, how do you know Zuhan? <laughs> it's, it's here. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay, there you go. Abracadabra, we have Zuhan here because he's like, summoned by uh, Pain in Hiding. Oh, there. Okay, I think that it's a magical, sticky, sticky uh, tag. It somehow does not allow me to pull it out, but somehow it's not stuck here as well, so yeah, there you go, weird sticky tag. Okay, right. Okay, the problem with my setup right now is that um, my uh, tripod is kind of jutting out, so if I, woo, if I turn too much, it's gonna hit it, and uh, yeah, we'll get a little tremble <laughs> when I, my stool where my uh, chair um yeah struck the side the the, the leg see of the, <laughs> of the tripod oh ah Ugh, can't seem to get it away okay right so i'm done with this so reason why i chose this oh there oh hold on who summoned who <laughs> chris summoned to Juan. so the two of you with the power of pain and chris to Juan has been summoned <laughs> Yeah, I should, huh? No, no, I should scream. I should scream for Zhu Huang. Like, hey! No, I should play Taylor Swift. I should play Taylor Swift. No, I can't play Taylor Swift. If I play Taylor Swift, they would, like, you know, give me, like, a strike and say, you know, like, I don't know. They'll say, oh, you can't, I can't let you, uh, you know, I have to mute your whole video, that kind of thing. I'm not sure if that's, that's gonna happen. But I think if I play Taylor Swift, people wake up, probably, and you start humming and singing. Yeah, you know, yeah, 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 I know, right? Too bad. I think that's the best way. Play it backwards. Yeah, maybe, maybe uh, Zhu Huang will understand. Like, I'm sure he would, like, have known. Like, maybe he can even recognize uh, Taylor Swift songs backwards. <laughs> I have to sing. Oh my god, no, I can't. <laughs> You know, I can only, I'm so sorry, like, if you ask me, if you ask me to sing a Taylor Swift now song now, I can only sing, like, Love Story, I think. I know it's super old, like, I can also sing, um, Say you remember me, standing, okay, never mind, can only sing that sen senza, sorry. <laughs> um, let me practice, alright, once I get it right, I, I will be able to sing, so for now, I'm sorry, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> oh like you know like which one like pain in hiding <laughs> while the stream yeah. while the streams are okay stop <laughs> is that a clap <laughs> oh my god i i think i sang off key there <laughs> that is a really nice song like i love the song i actually heard that song on TikTok <laughs> and I love it I think it's a really nice song 
TikTok is a nice place to like kind of learn new, like find out about new stuff, new songs, and a lot of them went like viral. So anyway, today I'm gonna paint um a dessert satay with S, and I think I remember I mentioned like strawberry stuff, strawberry shortcake, um shobe, strawberry something. But in the end, I decided that I'll paint a Santa's cake because it's Christmas, right? So this is the little Santa that I will use. And this is the Christmas Christmas cake, the cake with the Christmas tree on the top. The reason for choosing a Christmas tree is because then, remember we're gonna do like a collaboration. So I'm gonna paint this and then you guys have two weeks, two weeks to give me something that you want to add to this, okay? Uh -huh. oh, oh yeah, yeah, I know. Trouble, trouble, trouble. <laughs> Pay to continue sing. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I know. Um, if you want me to sing a whole Taylor Swift song, you have to super chat. <laughs> so, yeah, maybe I should just put like a somewhere and right, say like, you know, <laughs> I can earn money by singing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, please, everyone. Um, yeah, if you are free, uh, I'm going to paint this, I'm going to put this, I'll paint this here. What I'll do is that uh, you submit to me on this card or you can send it to me on email. Anything that you want to put in a tree. So um, I think you can put like a present if you want to. You can put palettes. You can have like sunglasses. Uh, what else? Uh, cupcakes, dogs, Taylor Swift, um, Lego. You know, there's so many stuff. So I think it'd be <laughs> <laughs> Why are you hiding? Why is your money flying away? <laughs> are you gonna pay me to sing? I don't think so. <laughs> that would be funny. <laughs> yeah, so okay, please do something. I think it'd be fun because uh, once we have everything up, what I'll do next time. Remember, we I show you the last time that we did like the um, gingerbread house with the gingerbread man running around the house and we couldn't remember who did what. So this time, I am going to put a little name tag underneath um, the stuff that you put on the tree. So if you like do a little doggy, I'm going to write your name there. So so that when you get your, uh, when you, I will make this into a postcard, like a print, like not actual print, but it's, it will be a printable. So you can download it from coffee and then you can print it on your side. But I think next time I'm going to do like an option. So if you wish to receive the physical card, then uh, you got to pay for it though, because I got to print it and then I got to send it out. So yeah, donuts. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, go go ahead. Go go and get your coffee and tea and donuts. <laughs> oh, imagine if we painted presents for each other as center. Oh, secret center, and it gets reviewed only on stream. Ooh, that is a cute idea. But I would know everything, no. <laughs> like how are you gonna assign who's gonna do it? I think it's fun if you like can pick, but mm, I'm thinking how that's gonna go. Yeah, but we could do a few, so you could like you know you you are not limited to one. So if you wish to, you can do a few. So yeah, like if you wish to, you can do like something for for Chris and and maybe Nancy, um and yeah everyone on the on the stream. I think that'd be fun. You know, and then we will have a tree that's so decorated that uh, yeah, I have no space to put them. I can put them anywhere. <laughs> there needs to be a center. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will. I'm gonna put a center there because you see, like we have a little center here. So I'm gonna just put him at the side because you can see all these uh, little cute presents. So I'm just gonna put him there. Um, but I think the focus um of the uh the the this cake here is actually the tree. So. I am going to to make that tree the focus. I'm gonna make that really big. Okay, you know the thing, the one thing that I can't draw to save my life um, are these shapes. You know the what do you call that? These um, eclipse. You call this eclipse? Ellipses? Eclipses? <laughs> I don't know what you call those. <laughs> oh, Paolo says I was hoping for an evil center. Hmm. Ha! Huh, how does an evil Santa look? I know, I know. He'll get like the um, like a fire in his eye kind, like like the like angry eyes, like you have super angry eyes. Yeah, that's a good thought. I could try evil Santa, <laughs> bad Santa. <laughs> oh, maybe I should Google like how does a bad Santa look like. 
Or I could give you like an eye patch or something. <laughs> okay, go, uh, go, 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 pain. <laughs> oh, ellipsis, ellipsis, right? Hey, hey. Oh no, Red Sophie, so, so explicit. Oh no, <laughs> whipping poor reindeer. So no. I was thinking just giving him a, a, a an eye patch, and <laughs> you are thinking of him doing all these bad stuff to, to his uh, pets and his uh, employer employee. Well, actually, can um I think Santa is is quite a quite a entrepreneur, right? Like he manages such a big factory, like he does all these present making, and he has these like animals that kind of work for him to deliver. So it's like a I don't know. He's like Amazon, you know. Um, but but you know um, fatter and slower. I don't know how is he gonna go to all the house. I'm sure he's gonna get a lot of uh complaints about him being too slow to deliver stuff <laughs> oh yeah but yeah but he has to accumulate all the orders on one day right like how is he gonna do that <laughs> maybe he has to like have a few more employees like oh i need to clone myself he probably need to clone himself yeah how many of you like really um believe in in santa claus like i i i, I seriously i don't think i do yeah, but I really love the premise that, you know, someone's gonna give you a present if you are like a good kid. So I, I think these are like things, adults came up with these things so that uh, children can behave themselves and they can get like an, a present, you know, uh, yeah, every end of the year, you know, that kind of thing. So, well, I don't know if that works, but I guess um, worth any try, right? Anything that help you uh, have a well-behaved kid is worth trying. So yeah, all these lies that adults tell kids. <laughs> mm. uh, uh, uh. Oh. oh okay. Gretch Gretch Death said, "Don't forget the real sense. Sanic punch heretics, really?" <laughs> oh okay. Oh, see, Chris says he just went down. He went downstairs to the kitchen and there's no donuts. Ah. Oh. Oh, hi, Housewoman. Yes, I'm going to tell you guys the color um, the color names and the brands again, okay? Sorry if I was too fast. So this, um, okay, the first color is a green. So I am, I am having Green Appetite Genuine from Daniel Smith. Um, the next color, so you can use set green. Any set green will do. Anything that's a bit more yellow meaning. Um, Ram, the second color is Rembrandt's in, uh, Indian Red. So this one is PR101 plus PR264. But the shade is a little bit different from, um, let's say, the more violet leaning ones. So if you wish to have a red red one, you can like use Paraline Maroon because it's pretty close. But it's different because Paraline Maroon is not opaque. Um, but Indian Red gets opaque if you use a lot of it. And then the third color is PY150. We have used this many times. It's Azo Yellow, my favorite yellow color. Um, so anything that's like warm leaning, um, like yellow, warm yellow, I would use it. So no blues here, no purple, only brown, orange, um, and those colors like your... Uh, I remember we used, we had this one previously, like quite, yeah, quite a while ago. Up uh, recipe says, DR Jazz Pro is secretly an elf working for Santa to give. Oh. <laughs> no, I already know he got he got me a present from a pen shop. So I'm gonna get a new pen. Maybe I'll um maybe I will like open it up like one of the streams. Um my present, my pen um gift. So DR Jazz Pro already told me that he is getting me a pen. Um it's a sailor, very nice sailor pen. It's a limited I think it's a limited edition, like an anniversary pen. Um, yeah, and, and it's pretty... I, it's something that I, I've been like looking for. Um, I actually had wanted to get that one. Um, yeah, so yeah. But at that time when I, when I went, they, they, they still don't have it. So I got another pen instead. And somehow, I think it's serendipity or something. Um, I don't know, like fate. Um, that DRGS Pro was just kind of shopping. I don't know why shopping at a pen shop and he saw this pen and he said it looks really cute and yeah and he decided to get it for me so I'm pretty pretty lucky. Hi hi. <laughs> yeah and he, he was like oh look at this. Hi. So I think he does not like give me surprises because he didn't want me to get some get something that I don't like. So he shared and I was like oh this is a nice pen. 
Um, and then I told him like the history. I went and looked for it, but they don't have it yet. Um, and it just happened that he just he just got it because I told him it's nice. So yay! <laughs> Ah, oh, hope I like it. Yes, I do. I love it. So just the only issue that I have with getting pens is that I have a lot of pens. And it takes me so long to finish using the pen. So I feel it's going to take a long time for me to get to your the new pens. I feel bad for all of them just sitting there because it's just... You know, nowadays we spend so much time just... It's not if I'm a student and I need to hand up I don't know if students still use a lot of pen, but if I'm a student um, and I need to like hand in physical uh, homework and stuff, yeah, I think I, I, I don't think it's an issue. I think I can easily um, finish inks and, and everything um, and use the pens properly. But because you know of how we are now no longer using um, physical paper, it's just so difficult to use up. Yeah, I don't really journal a lot. I know there's some people who journal, so I don't really journal a lot. Yeah. Oh, students so don't? What? They don't? <sighs> okay. Oh, oh, Chris says, Secret Artist has his own underground channel. <laughs> DRJS Pro Wonders. <laughs> oh, no, no. His channel would be all about Lego, I think, and cars. <laughs> Not an art channel, it's a Lego, Lego and car channel. <laughs> oh, what? Students don't use, really? They don't? I'm like, uh, what? <laughs> Why? Okay, I, I don't know. Do people still emphasize on like good handwriting? I remember when I was, when we were like doing Chinese in school, you know, it's, it's, you know, they, you get like marks taken off if you have untidy handwriting. Um, I wonder if they still do that. Like, do they still care if you write properly or not? <laughs> I think they probably don't. No, I feel sad. Now I feel sad for for uh, companies that make these things. Like, and and people who kind of pride themselves, um, you know, for having like good handwriting, beautiful handwriting. I don't have like really nice ones, but I do have like I know a friend who's really really she she is so neat that you you know it feels like she actually printed like she printed her handwriting. She's so yeah and, and we all like you know admire like we will take out her handwriting and we admire it. Like wow look at that. That's Stephanie's handwriting. So beautiful. <laughs> you know? Yeah up there. Probably cars, right? DRGS Pro. Huh? Latest Lego Speed Champion is Brian's Nissan GTR from Fast and the Furious. Well, I'm not sure if he has it. Really? Serious? I know, like, he recently uh, bought. Uh, we went, I think it was in probably the beginning of November. Uh, we were kind of shopping around. Um, and, and we, you know, I'm not sure if you guys know Tommy Cars. Um, it's this brand of like tiny, um, metal die, um, like toy cars, um, that they, that, you know, the, the company makes like, um, like real, like they try to replicate, um, actual cars that's like in production or like real cars and make them tiny, um, that people have so he I think he bought like a lot of those like cars so he might have those oh by the sensor looks looks odd but yeah okay this is gonna be a really odd looking cake though I think it's a little bit too big <laughs> like the cake like it, it it's it's a little bit odd I think this is a little bit too big let me just erase it off okay yeah, yeah. Uh, high school and middle school definitely uses pen and need good high rate. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, phew. <laughs> That's good. Oh, it's out in January 2023. Ah, uh, DRJF Rose says he prefer, the real G he prefer the real GTR. Of course, of course. But I mean, it's a Lego. I think it's, it's, it's going to be pretty cute, you know, if you build it up. Yeah, I don't know. You know, the thing about Lego is this, th there's just so many different things. Like, if you like animals, if you like uh, buildings, if you like cars, if you like plants, they have all these different types of things, you know. Hey. 
เออพรีเซสทอมมี่คาร์สกูไอเฮอร์เรลเขาพูดว่า60 what the same the same one the same um ko kogi kogi vanguard really why why <laughs> oh we can budget it when we go to Spain or like really gonna get an R thirty five GTR seriously wow we Please, when are you gonna move to Spain? Can I go visit you? Sounds like a cool place. Like you're gonna have like a craft shop. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> is it a dog? I'm 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 googling here. Okay, I don't think it is. Oh, it's a car. Is it a car? Oh my god, it's so cute. The name is cute though. Oh, it's like really old. Oh, oh, there's so. Oh, do you mean these? Oh wow, is this a brand? Hoji Vanguard. Is this a brand? Wow, that's really interesting. Oh, it's like it's like it's like Tommy Cars, but it's another brand. It's called Koji Vanguards. No, ah, I see. Uh huh. Oh, Spain is not cool. It's hot. <laughs> no, it cannot be as hot as Singapore. <laughs> is Portugal as as hot as hot as Spain? Are you like kind of close? I don't know. I I have no concept at all. Like I have always been, um, I've not been to that part. Like the the south, the most south that I've been is actually Italy. Yeah, <laughs> I've not been more south than that. Wait, let me think. How about Greece? Is Greece along the same area? Ah, they're getting too expensive now. Ah, are they like Tommy cars, but they are like made by another brand? Not, I don't think it's. I would say it's not popular, but I don't think we have it in Singapore or like in Asia. Like Asia is always Tommy Car because I think it's a Japanese brand and they kind of know. I I think they made of like a lot of um local like like Asian cars, um so it's always like close to the uh the the where they are you know. Hmm. Ah, uh, what? Oh, it can be hot. No, ooh, love Spain, love heat. <laughs> okay, oh, but it's forty two degrees Celsius, Chris. Uh, the RGS process. Ah, hmm. GTI is no longer in production. Hmm, it's gonna be called what? Really? Oh, <gasps> better get it now, Chris. Go, the RGS roll. <laughs> Do let us know when you get one, okay? And share it with us. We'd love to see it. Okay, now, so I think Zhu Huan is asleep. Let's scream for him. Zhu Huan, Zhu Huan, wake up, Zhu Huan. <laughs> Are you around? Are you sleeping? <laughs> it's gonna. Is he gonna magically appear again? Or oh, is he like lurking? Oh, and now we have two guys talking about cars. Okay, wonderful people, wonderful. Okay, now I am just going to do very minimum things, um, like decoration because you know. We are gonna have you guys decorate this uh, this Christmas tree, so I am not gonna do too much. I'm just gonna like kind of do this. I don't know what you call this, like um, mm, uh, bun. I don't know. Uh, what do you call this decoration? Um, uh, stuff like for the tree, and then little little round bubbles, bubbles here and there. Okay. Just gonna start painting right now because otherwise I don't know when else I will end. I hope to be able to get this at least like done. I think I can. I just need more concentration. Haha. <laughs> there. <laughs> Money not available yet. <laughs> Zuhan is back. I'm blank with, with car combo. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now let's go back to painting. Okay. Okay, and uh, yeah, I think my tree is a little bit like my cake is a little bit like. Okay, what I'll do is probably like I will I'll give this a miss because it will look kind of weird. I want to have it like floating, so I'm gonna have my cake kind of floating. I don't know if that's a good idea, but I'm just gonna try it. I oh so the art oh okay so Chris is. Oh, what? S2000, S200, S... Wait, hold on. 1993, 200 SX. Is it an S2000? No? Mm, okay, never mind. It's a car conversation. So, <laughs> I am... 
I am I have no idea. <laughs> I am so sorry. I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> we shall wait for him to come back. Okay. Well, what I'm doing now is I am just going to give like a light. Let me think how I will do it. Should I make it very... Um, okay, I'll try to be quite neat because I want to make sure that um, <clears throat> we have these, um, paint, these nice. Um, I want to make sure that this is kind of able to stand out. Yeah, so I will, I will be quite neat with my painting today. You know how not neat I am uh, with painting? So today I'll be a neat, neat painter because I want these to, to be uh, there. Okay, I mean like to, I want these to, I want this to be kind of standalone. So I do not want to have these like, you know normally what I'll always do is to have like, um, uh, wet on wet and then those, these things happening uh dropping paints and splatter and stuff like that so today i'm just gonna paint normally yeah oh what did i draw oh, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> oh 200 sx is underpowered what <laughs> how someone ask what did i draw oh i i actually i'm drawing i'm drawing a christmas tree christmas tree cake and call this the center's christmas tree cake Reason for painting this um, is because I am going to let you guys decorate the tree for me. So yeah, I'm going to do a collaboration uh, with all of you. So I hope you guys pick up your brushes, your pens, whatever, you know, whatever you feel like it, color pencils, whatever, um, and do something that's like Christmas related. Oh no, it doesn't have to be Christmas related. You can paint whatever you want, like a, you can do your, a car. And I know horsewoman probably likes horses, so you can paint as a horse, you know. And we can have your horse um, superimpose it on a certain section um, of the of the tree. And then uh, we will do like a collaboration at the end of it. I'll make a card and you can download it on, 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 on Discord. No, 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 not on Discord. On um, Coffee, which is where I am kind, kind currently doing all these... Uh, uh patreon stuff uh where people who want to support me could could treat me to a coffee and and treat me to something you know like yeah so that's how it goes so now i'm just painting these down um uh, just uh i am not doing the shadows yet um so you'd be wondering like hey why is this looking so boring yeah that's because i am not doing the shadows um, and I kind of forgotten this. I think I will just let this one be like that, okay? So it will take a while uh, for me to paint this because I want to be careful. Um, I want to make sure that the colors are, are nice and um, yeah, um, the, 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 it's a fine. I don't want it to, um, the, the wet on wet um, and at different parts of the, 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 the uh, trees. I mean, like coming out to the side and then, you know, um, car having the colors at different parts. So that's that's something that I want to avoid. So we have one like this. Um, yeah, I believe the top should actually be more yellow. So I don't know what happened to the top here that is not more yellow. So I'm just going to add a bit of yellow here. It's just going to be a nice one. Oh, now the guys are talking about cars. Mm hmm. Okay. Interesting. And I'm continuing to paint uh, my cake, right? I actually wanted to paint like an actual tree, right? But in the end, I think it'll be difficult if you paint an actual tree because for some people, they might want it to be a little bit more illustrative style. That's probably easier for everyone, I think, if it's a little bit more illustrative. If it's too realistic, I think it'll be difficult to, to let the let the um, essence go, go through. Like it will look kind of weird for like um, uh, different types of um, uh, like a realistic tree versus a not realistic uh, decoration, you know. So which is why I've decided to, to do this instead um, to, to do a like a cake, cake like tree. OK, so that's that <laughs> oh <laughs> end of car talk or Alice will get mad <laughs> no no 
Oh, the DRS JS Pro say this is a nice Christmas tree. Okay, thank you. Um, yeah, is that a, trying to? Are you trying to redeem yourself? <laughs> nah, I'm just joking. So the thing about this color, um, the green appetite, is that you can get many different kinds of colors with it. Like you can, can you see? And when I use a little bit more of it, um, you get a darker color. Um, and it, it's buildable, so you can actually build on the color. Uh, with this, uh, with this, uh, yeah, you can build on it with the color that you are using. So that's that's why I think it's nice about it. This uh. Uh, green appetite genuine because of the possibilities that you get okay so now i'm just continue i'm just gonna make this yeah i'm just gonna continue with this boring part of building it up okay it takes a while because there's just so many layers um so you guys can continue to talk about um cars i have no issue with that yeah Oh, hold on. Oh, does our add-on have to be to use the limited palette? No, do whatever you want. So if you wish to put a um, rainbow cake, you can. If you want to have a, um, I don't know, like a rainbow color or something. Yeah, feel free to do that. No worries, you can do that because it's a collaboration. Um, it's not a limited palette challenge. So you, you, you just do you, do whatever you love. So you could paint donuts if you want. You can paint boba, you know, like a cup of boba if you want. Um, anything you want. Uh, maybe you can paint world peace. I don't know what world peace looks like, but yeah, that's something that we can kind of uh, discover. Uh, yeah. So that's my tree. I think I'm I'm being very uh what do you call that free with with it like i don't think i am forcing myself to uh paint it according to how it actually looks um yeah ah that oh kaido sir hey nancy ah <laughs> Good morning, Nancy. How are you? Hey, yes, the Wanderers have been uh, talking about uh, cars and Legos and uh, what else? And the uh, Christmas tree that we are painting uh, because we are going to do a collaboration. Hey, hey. Oh, hold on. Ah, uh, that. <laughs> And yeah, horse women says and horses. Yeah, that's for the tree. And Kaidusa is here. Hello, Kaidusa. Yo, yo. <laughs> oh, Paulo says, do I by any chance have a UV flashlight? I read from that about appetite that seem to can forest. Really? Uh, I might have one, but I think I have to go to my, I have to go to uh, the storeroom to get. Maybe I can show you guys. So what I can do, um, is tonight I will go look for it and I will take a picture of it for us under UV light. Okay, I think that'll be fun. Oh, <laughs> Rap Sophie says, Well, peace. <laughs> Our green. Okay. Well, I think I'm kind of painting world peace here. <laughs> Nancy says, I was surprised about the dessert beginning with S. I thought it's just limited, oh, limited challenge ornaments. Well, I guess, um, yeah, I just want to do something so that you guys can also paint because I don't want to just paint this and then uh, I don't want to look for a tree that is an actual tree because it will be difficult if someone does like illustrative kind. Yeah, so. <laughs> oh, cars, goodbye. <laughs> right. Oh, Nancy says, it's 7 a.m. I should be right on time. Yeah, you are. Thanks for joining me. Do, do prepare your answer for what we ask Nancy every week, right? What will Nancy have for breakfast? So let's, let's, maybe we should guess. Like, can we guess? Oh, no. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. And these weird stuff. Oh, gosh. Luckily, it didn't appear. Oh, gosh. Can I just, like hide 
And can I like report? Okay, right, done. Alrighty. Okay, I got tons of weird stuff. <laughs> Yeah, come everyone. What you guys? What do you think? What do you think? Um, Nancy will be having. I think it's a pancake. I think it's a pancake. Pancake. Am I right? <laughs> oh, we didn't see anything. Yeah, I can. I can see on my side. Um, but I think it's luckily. I think that the modulation, the mo the the modulation is done properly this time, so you guys can't see it. So that's the most important thing. I don't really mind that I see stuff. Um, as long as you guys don't, yeah. So I don't know why it's just so irritating. Like it just keeps coming for some reason. <laughs> you know, Chris is doing that um roll call. You know, oh yeah, we mentioned about roll call right that time. Like okay, who's here? Like is everyone here? We are missing someone from where? You know that kind of thing. So. Yeah, yeah, that's where we, um, I think this is like a roll call plus like a, a wake up call, <laughs> kind of. <laughs> so you know who to look for when you need a, a wake up call, you know. Who do we look for? CB, Chris. Okay, so I don't know, like the tree, the bottom of the tree looks really odd. <laughs> ah, sorry. Oh. Nancy says, last time I had ramen with saute zucchini and smoked sardines with hosin sauce. Oh, no pancakes! Oh, <laughs> I don't think you will have the same thing. But it's really nice, ramen with saute zucchini. I love zucchini. Mm -hmm, yum, yum. I don't think, I don't know about sardines. I don't really like sardines, but I love zucchini. And hosin sauce. Ah, Zuhan says, you know people in Xi'an don't know what's hoisin sauce. Hoisin sauce. Is it hoisin? Oh, hoisin is like hai. Uh, um, it's a, it's a, it's a Hong Kong, Hong Kong sauce. The sauce in Hong Kong. Uh, hai-sien. Hai-sien jiang. Uh, but I don't know what's in there though. <laughs> I know, I know Paolo loves sardine. I remember we debating about like fishes, fish, right? How to eat fish and you mentioned about the grilled sardines and we go like, oh yeah, no, steamed fish is the best. <laughs> steamed prompted is like my favorite. I think cod, steamed cod is the best. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, sardine is good. Uh-huh, I understand. I think it's good for you as well. Sardine is a very good fish. It's full of, um, yeah, it's full of goodness. Yep. Well, but I don't like I don't like sardines. <laughs> I don't know why. I think it's the it's the hassle of eating it. You have to take out the head. You have to open it up. You have to take out the scale. You have to take out the bones, um, uh, and the uh, and the skin. Um, I mean, for me, if I were to eat like a sardine, that's what I'll do. I will like take out everything, and then I have like nice. You know, if the flesh looks like tuna, you know those canned tuna, if it looks like that, I would eat it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what? Steam or what? <laughs> ah, okay, hoisin sauce is sweeter than fish sauce. Fish sauce is so salty. <laughs> but it's nice. Um, I like pho, you know, the Vietnamese pho. And they have the they have that that the the fish sauce in it and it makes it really nice. I think a lot of like Thai food has fish sauce as well. I, I don't know what's in Hai Sin in Hoi Sin sauce. Yeah. Kairusa says steam or fried pompano. What's pompano? Let me check. What's pompano? Is it like pompano? Ooh, what's pompano fish? Oh, isn't it the same as prawn fruit? I think it's pompano versus prawn fruit. Is it the same thing? What's the difference? It's the same. They, it's the same. Prawn fruit is the same as pompano. Oh, I love it. I love it steam. So if you steam this fish, it's so good. Okay, I'm gonna just steam. I, I once had a, a fish soup that's made from this fish and it's so good oh steamed prompted my favorite this is steamed prompted i love steamed prompted um i also like cod um anything that's like cod is favorite like steamed favorite aha uh -huh. ah, da, da. Ah. oh you used to eat it straight oh yeah <laughs> what you mean like sardines <laughs> What? 
how do you eat the bones? I mean, I don't know. I, I don't know. It feels weird having bones in the mouth. <laughs> hmm. But I, I quite like it. Mom cooks. My mom cooks sardines with tomatoes and onion and tomato sauce. Sometimes they would just like make it into like a, like a filling for a sandwich and they would just put it in a sandwich. So that's how we e- eat uh, sardine in Singapore. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's starting on a 90. That's nice. Oh, yeah, it's easy. Yeah, like, it doesn't have a lot of, like, uh, bones. And, yeah, it's easy to eat. I think it's one of the, those most easiest, most, the easiest fish to, to eat. Other than, um, I think, I don't know what other fish doesn't have a lot of that skin. I mean, a lot of bones. I can't think of anything else. Like, most of the fish I know has is full of bones. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, oh, you ask your fishmonger to remove the bones. Oh, nice. Ah, okay. And <laughs> Paolo says, when you roll sardines, you can sp- oh, separate the fish really easily from the bones. Ugh, okay. Oh, yeah, your sister like it with hot sauce. Okay. Yeah, different ways people eat stuff. Oh, I know, I know. For me, like, I guess um, I love seafood. So I think the easiest thing to eat would be like... um. Uh, I don't know. Uh, what is easy to eat? Scallop? I don't know. But you got to open up. You got to like open the, 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 what do you call that? The shell and everything. So that's not, that's, that's a little bit like not so easy. Um, uh, what would be an easy fish? I really wonder to eat. Hmm. Anyway. Yeah. So I am just slowly building it up. Um, the uh, oh Nancy did did share uh, with me on on uh, Google photo um, what she did for last week last month um, challenge maybe I could show it to you guys she did a raspberry cupcake if I'm not wrong where's the raspberry cupcake there so this is Nancy have I already shown this I don't remember but this is Nancy's uh, raspberry cupcake I think I did show this one yeah, but I was thought I thought it looks really cute because it looks like the cake was like floating in 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 the galaxy. Yeah, nice guys. I thought I did. I think she mentioned that it's uh she made a little kind of pattern, splatter pattern, which is really really nice. And some some of the highlights with the gouache and everything. So that's Nancy's um um contribution for the last one. So yeah, feel free to paint anything. Um, I'm just painting. I'm just taking my 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 slowly painting um the dark parts um of it of our um uh, tree I mean the shadow painting in the shadow oh, I think it's a little bit too dark um the color I have a feeling that this green appetite is like some sort of like a mixture I feel <laughs> Oh, there. Let me see. Oh, fried zhang yu is also not too difficult. Oh, tai yu. Oh, I know tai yu. Tai yu is like trap, trap fin. Is it trap fin? Oh, tai yu, tai yu. I know that. That is also super easy to eat. So what happened is... Oh, I mean, let me look for it. Uh, I think is it trap fish? Trap fin fish? Is it trap fin? No, it's not trap fin fish. It's just... Tai yu is what fish? Gosh. Uh, tai, tai, yu, tai yu. Wow, what's oh, what's tai yu? Oh, large head, hair tail. Okay, it's called large head, hair tail. Image, like it's this long fish, and then you just eat like a you 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 know because it's so long, right? It, they just gonna make little like cuts on it, like you get little squares of it, and it's super easy to eat because, um. Oh, what is this? <laughs> I, I could kind of explain how we normally eat it. What? <laughs> what? Why can't I show this? So anyway, if you see this, right? There are these two bones, like two, two, two bones. You just kind of remove them and you can just eat whatever's on the top. So this is also one fish. that It, it tastes really good and it's so easy to eat. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Thai fish. Thai yu. Good, good. Ah, uh, Suhan says, "Oh, that's why you like the sushi restaurants all prepared." I know, <laughs> that's the best way. 
Also, it's limited palette ornaments and desserts. No, Nancy, if you, uh, for the ornaments, you can paint, you can use whatever um, colors you like. But for the dessert, it's still limited palette. I hope it makes sense. Yeah, is that clear? Um, that you can paint uh, whatever you want. Uh, with it, whatever color you want, uh, you can use for the ornaments. But if you are sending um, the desserts, it has to be limited palette. Okay. Yeah, that's that's how it is. That's how we will do it. Because I know I, I wish more people would like participate um, our in our um, ornament uh, collab collaboration. So I thought that's kind of the best way for people because some people may be a little bit. I don't know, like they might be a little bit um, put off. Uh, I wouldn't say put off, but they, they are worried like they might not be able to um, find the limited colors and they might be a little bit, uh, you know, uh, worried about using limited palette because it's not like within their comfort zone. Um, so they're not ready to, 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 to do that. So I'm actually okay, you know, we could just use um, any other colors uh, you want. For, for that ornament so anything goes right even even the apple uh yeah <laughs> even the the tomato apple <laughs> uh, oh hold on oh beltfish okay yes oh nancy can i ask who is mama son oh mama son passed in 2017 oh no so it's just you and taking care of papa son Oh, uh, yeah, at least you guys have each other. Kaidusa says, we have it for breakfast in Shanghai. Oh, yeah, my mom loves it. It's like one of her favorite fish. And we have it for dinner with fries and everything. <laughs> it's going to turn into a cooking worker palace tree. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> it's so cool to learn about other people's food. <laughs> yes, for the ornament. Hello, Jill. Hello. <laughs> Good morning, Jill. <laughs> Johan says you're definitely a car from Chris. <laughs> you mean about? <laughs> I mean, oh. <laughs> yeah, a sh um, yeah. Let's have him talk about cars. <laughs> him and DRJS Pro talk about cars. <laughs> it's either cars or food. Like choose. <laughs> so far, I think our stream has not been talking about watercolor so much. I think I think we spend spend a lot of time talking talking about non watercolor things. <laughs> But it's fun, you know, whatever, whatever that makes you happy, you know, I think that's the most important thing about this stream is to be happy and to, to understand, be more understanding, to learn more about other people, learn more about other people's culture and about other people's way of life and just be more tolerant, I think. I think that's the, um, something that we want to do, uh, in the stream. Yay. Uh, oh, Okay. Papa San lives separate. Ah, okay, but the same state. Yeah, I guess you could you could vi visit him. Um, or even like yeah, keep him company on using the phone and, uh, you know um yeah, meet up. <laughs> Paolo says he doesn't mind food talking. Yeah, we none of us here mind. All of us love talking about food. Food is the thing that binds all together. All of us together. Oh, Rhapsody says, Petition for DRJS Pro to paint a Lego ornament. <laughs> He's shaking his head <laughs> on in a corner. <laughs> oh, I will try to force him. Maybe that, that will be his Christmas present for me. <laughs> he's not gonna, he's not saying anything. He's shaking his head. <laughs> Scotty, your head's gonna drop off. <laughs> yeah, just run Lego break. Just one. <laughs> He's shaking his head. <laughs> okay. Never mind. I will find a way to convince him. Nancy says, Oh, Papa Sound is there. So she texts many times a day, mostly art related. That's nice. Okay, that's 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 really nice. So it's always nice to have someone to talk about art with. You know, yeah. And I'm trying on my best to paint it. I think, you know, can you see that with this? Actually, this green appetite um, color is just so crazy. Like, I don't even have to mix other colors. Like, all these, it's just from green appetite. Like, you get 
I add a bit of yellow here, but this color, I think I, okay, I add a bit of, <laughs> most of the, like, even this, like, here, this is actually from Green Appetite, but this darker areas I actually mix with Indian Red, um, here I mix a bit with the Azo, so, it, it does, like, one color gives you so much variation, so, like, if you're looking for variation, crazy variation, I think Grand Green Appetite is probably the color to go to, you know, if you're looking for a green that you want, like, that gives you depth and everything. Yeah, look no further, just go to the Green Appetite, it gives you so much color and definition. Yes, yes, it is, it is the Green Appetite, it's beautiful. <laughs> hold on, <laughs> hold on, hold on. Paolo says, I can hear him running away. I know. He's still sitting in the corner. <laughs> laughing to himself and laughing, laughing at me. Kaidusa says, DRGS Pro has left the chat. <laughs> He's shaking his head. <laughs> oh, Jill says, beautiful tree. Love the green. Yes, I love the green too. I think it's... One of the most beautiful green I've ever used in my life. Green Appetite is so beautiful. <laughs> he's watching. Okay, he said he's watching. He's not left the chat yet. <laughs> yes, this is the Green Appetite from Daniel Smith. It's really cool, right? Like, I do add a bit of um, Indian Red on certain areas, but most of it, most of it is actually um, just itself, you know? It's just so amazing, this color. Like if you're looking for a crazy granulating, full of character color, this is really one that you should go to, you know? So I'm trying to just build in some of the shadows because I realize that we don't have a lot of shadows. Just because this is like a fontaine, you know like fontaine, like the um, fondant, fondant? I don't know, like, is it pronounced fondant? Ah. <laughs> uh. Ah, yes. Cascade Green. Oh, yeah. Cascade Green is also one of the nice colors. I, I have it as well. So far, I have not actually used it for painting so much. I have not. So, yeah. I, I think one of the our limited palette challenge, maybe we should start, we should try using Cascade Green. Greens are kind of difficult to use. I wouldn't say they're difficult, but normally for um, an easy or a super colorful limited palette, um, I would actually use the basic triad um, uh, colors. But if you're talking about, you know, I'm not thinking too much about like having as much color as you like. This, um, yeah, we could use green because green is really like your, what do you call that? One of your, um, uh, yeah, it's made from a mixture already. So it's like a, a secondary color. Yeah, so we do have less mixing potential with, with the green. So when you see green, it means, um, yeah, you really have less colors to work with. Which I guess, um, yeah, that's why you do a limited palette challenge. Because sometimes you just want to see how you can work with that limitation. I think that's how that works. Yeah, I, I, can, I can tell you like now, I don't even think I'm actually following <laughs> the picture. I'm just painting as much as I like. like. Ah, fond ah, there. Fondant? Yeah, fondant. Uh, in the French language, you only pronounce the word till the last vowel. But the N alters the sound of the last A. So fondant? 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 Without the T, right? Mm. I think so. I think it's fondant. Horsewoman says, I just got the M. Graham's watercolor set of 70. What? Like... Like how? Like you bought a whole set? Was it a Christmas present? <gasps> so envious! Oh my god! <laughs> how how do you get it? Was it a present? We are all so envious of you. Wow! I got like I have the seventy colors. I think I have the the complete set, but it's really samples that I have. I don't really actually have the actual, like full tube. Grats to you, man! How do you? How, like, woman? <laughs> How do you get that? Like, congratulations for having those colors. They are beautiful colors, and they're so nice to use. I think I bought three um, of those colors. I bought three um, tubes from uh, Jackson's when they had sale. I think it was, like, last year. It's weird. Like, I got it, but I think so far I haven't really used it yet. It's weird. Like, once you have it, um, I realized, and it's one funny thing was when I bought them, bought the colors, 
I didn't really get the, the, the special colours. I got colours that I most probably would use. And those, I actually also have them already in my, in, in my palette. Um, in, I, I actually have paints, um, tubes of those colours already. So I don't see the need to actually like use. So I have been having them in my palette, um, like the actual tubes, but I haven't really been painting with them. So that's, that's really weird. <laughs> Oh, eBay, I see. You know, I'm watching for core. Core colors are beautiful. I think um, uh, Kaidusa can can tell you more about them because I think he uses uh, core like almost exclusively. Um, and he's only like, I think even um, Paolo, Pai Paolo loves the colors from, from core as well. I love them too. I think that they are very crazy. I have not really tried their, uh, I know they do have the, uh, what do you call that? The, what is that one? Um, the earth colors, but I have not tried the earth colors before. Um, yeah, one day, maybe one day I will order the earth colors to try because they are, um, I love earth colors. I love like the, um, those uh, ochres and stuff. Ochres? 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 Yeah. Mm. Oh, then you have a full set syndrome. <laughs> Who doesn't? Like I have it, but I can't seem to get it. Like, I can't get myself to be treated <laughs> or, like, to, to be able to, to get a full set. Do I have a full set of every, like, any color? I don't think so, you know? I don't think I've ever... Let me think. Oh, I have a full set of um, the granulating colors. Like, those super granulating colors. I, I have full sets of those. Those I have. Because, you know, of... Um, yeah, I think it's just because I, I do the YouTube videos. So I tend to just get them, yeah, like like that because I think it's useful to do. Um, I like to explore the colors, so I, I think it's okay for me to just get them, um, yeah. So that's why I have like a full set of those colors. Mm. <laughs> yeah, Kaidusa says. Oh, hold on. Oh, Kaidusa says he loves the colors of the coal, but in terms of like fastness, they're one of those few companies that test them. Ah. Wow, I didn't know they do that. Nice, interesting to know. Oh, Paolo do, don't have any gram homes. But I think Paolo love coal, right? <laughs> oh, a lot of watercolors when they thin out, they don't they, they don't withstand light fastness. Oh, all of them? Oh, so, so when I test um, for... When I test for light fastness, I should actually test them like when they are all in a light... Um, in a light wash oh then I'm testing them the wrong way I don't think I actually use them at a light like yeah in a light wash oh no oh no that means I have to oh but I mean if if I I know what I do normally so I don't use like actual mess 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 tone but what I normally do is I would just yeah I don't think I conscientiously put too much like pain or not but I don't think I think too much before I, I, I just pain them and I don't really think that much you know oh so okay <laughs> whoops oh ah it's better to test them in a gradient yeah I think I should oh I, I think the core uh, Core is under Golden, right? Golden, the company Golden. Uh, I think it's just called Golden. I think they merged their Facebook page or something, such that everything is now Golden. Like they don't, they don't even have a Core Facebook page anymore. But blog, I've not seen the blog, but I think yeah, interesting to test it to check them out. Okay, so I'm just going to continue with the painting to try to cover as much. Uh, yeah, just to try to get this to look. I don't know. I don't know if it looks odd, this Christmas tree. <laughs> looks a bit weird. I'm not, not sure if it looks weird. I hope it does not look weird. Yeah, I'm trying to get like a dark color at the bottom. So there, and then over. Oh, the eye paint over Santa's hat. 
Oh no! I paid over Santa's hat. Okay, <laughs> I got to save Santa's hat. Yes, that's why we need Indian red because Indian red, when used thick, is opaque. So we save little Santa. <laughs> Okay. Test both full strength and tin wash. Okay, cool. Okay, Paul, Paul says the thing that is that when light fastness is tested, the machine still has to check the sample if they faded. So if you're testing at home, it's just, yeah, okay. I think I I don't think I, 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 I yeah, think too much about like how how thick the mixture is. Um yeah, but if I can already see a difference, uh, you know, in the, the what I have, uh, which is not a, definitely not a thin out mixture, uh, yeah, they are definitely out. Like I'm sure they will fit if they are in a light lighter white like to wash, you know. Hmm. Thanks for that though. I think that is something that I don't know. Like we always learn new things from people, you know, from. From people who watch the stream, they kind of, you know, you guys know so much. So we kind of like learn new stuff. So I'm just gonna give Santa a little cheek, like a like little uh rosy cheek. Okay. Yeah. Hey, can you see the tiny Santa over there? Maybe I should bring this down a bit so that you guys can see the tiny Santa. Nah, can you guys see the tiny, tiny center? I think you can. Let me just bring this down. Okay. There. Oh, okay, better? Probably. Okay, so there. Ah, okay. Housewoman says, I don't sell my watercolor, so right now I just use your paint. Yeah, just use that. Why sell them? Unless you don't like. Like, I don't think I ever sell. Oh, I do sometimes. Like, if I buy a big tube of 15 mils, I sometimes do sell, like, small half pens. But I think it's kind of fun to share with friends. If you have friends who have colors that you want and they want colors that you like, you can just, you know, share it. I think that'd be a nice one. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. Paolo says, not exactly sure. I think that ISO standard asks for specific concentration of paint to be used when testing light fastness. Oh. That kind of helps to standardize stuff. Like, you know, for me, I think the difficulty sometimes in doing this kind of watercolor review is I find that um, the color do look a bit different depending on the concentration that you use them. And sometimes it's difficult to quantify that. Like, how do you say like, oh, I pick out like 5 grams of paint, I add to like 10 mils or like 2 mils of water. Uh, to achieve this color and then this one I took one gram and I mix it with you know you know what I mean so I think this is the part that I would wish that is a way to easier to, to standardize it a little bit better but it will look weird like it would be difficult to do um, and it might not be useful yeah I don't know what you think about it I did think about it, like to to actually use those, uh, to to put them to to do this kind of thing. Like I gonna weigh this on the weighing balance and and just tell people, oh yeah, I am using five grams of the paint and two into uh, one one mil of water, that kind of stuff. Yeah, I don't know if anyone have you guys like watched um any of those like uh streams or like art videos. Um, where they actually did this, where they weigh out a specific vol um, uh, weight uh, of pain and test out, um, and, 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 and you know, just tell people like this is, this is how it should be done. I don't know. Oh yeah, that's actually quite cool, huh? It's fun to see the variation between sick pigment from different companies. I think it also does kind of, you know, like I, I guess if you, if you are mixing watercolor if you use a lot of that paint um you know you might you might get a, a concentrated mixture uh, if you use enough of it uh, versus like you taking a small amount so that that can be the difference that you don't you you, you wouldn't know unless you compare it uh you know with with uh if you do have some kind of standardization 
so yeah I think definitely interesting to do um, yeah maybe I'm gonna you know in fact uh, one of the shipment that I'm getting from Taobao is actually a, a weighing balance uh, a, a precision <laughs> weighing balance I don't know how precise it can it is um, because it's it's not expensive but it's a very tiny one so I actually got it for my watercolor making um, well I don't know activity uh, endeavor because I, I wanted to make my own watercolor so I, I, I thought it's just so difficult to just eyeball um, amount of pi uh, pigments to use and uh, yeah I thought the best way the most uh, standard or the best way to do so is actually just to to measure it out by weight you know yeah oh there okay go 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 bye bye chris um have a good weekend sure no problem so do please please work on the ornaments okay i like to see a car ornament or a, a bubble ornament <laughs> bubble tea ornament from you because I think you or, or I don't know donut ornament from you okay hope to see um, your work we do ex you, you know just submit whenever you are you feel ready you know okay bye ha <sighs> okay so I think this is not a difficult one so I hope that when I when you guys I uh, make the um, ornaments, it's gonna look nice, because this 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 is looking a little bit crazy right now. I think my my Christmas tree is looking so crazy. It's just so much going on here. Especially that granulation, you know that granulation that you have from the the green appetite is just like amazing. It's it's I, I don't know what to say. So it's I, I hope it's not going to cover up too much uh and uh we're not gonna see um the the artwork, you know, like if you if you submit uh, because sometimes in a when it's too complex when it looks too complex, it might cover up um, simple stuff. So yeah, I do hope that it will not... Current looks is looking a little bit complex. Uh, yeah, but we'll see. Yeah, so that's that's how it looks. Okay, currently. Oh, when is everything due? So um, next week is going to be Anything Goes week. So next week is... Let's see. So this is today's 2nd of December. Um, and then we have the 9th um, so today's dessert next week is anything goes week and then we do have the portrait week on the 16th right um, and on the 16th will be the day we or I will be painting the portrait maybe on the 23rd because it's pretty close to Christmas no should I do it here because we have show and tell here Mm, no, we will have the the portrait. We will have the um on the twenty third. We will have the 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 uh collaboration where we kind of like talk about things other than water watercolor. We will, I will not be painting. So you know normally how we do is on the first week we will have dessert. Second week we have anything goes, and then the third week we would have the show and tell with the portrait. Um, and then last week we definitely we'll be talking about the next palette, and we will be doing yeah non painting stuff. So I think it'll be interesting to kind of show, see what everyone has done and, and let's just put everything together, uh, you know, in, in, the, in, the, in a tree. Yeah. So it will be due on the 23rd of December. I'm going to type this down. 23rd December. Okay. Yeah. So I hope you guys are around um, for, to celebrate like Christmas together um, as wanderers. Thing. it's really nice to see the group grow and just see people like sometimes people come and go but i think you guys are kind of the core group like you always are around and it's just so nice to see everybody like you know you go about your days doing your your work and and, and your, your your stuff you work from 
you work at your home, you do your stuff, you take care of people, you, you have your friends, your family and, and, and everything. And when we, when we come together, like on a, on a Friday evening, and we talk about, yeah, art and food, <laughs> fish, <laughs> sardines, donuts, boba, <laughs> all sorts of weird stuff we talk about. <laughs> sure. So it's really nice to have people, um, yeah, just just coming, um, and and and, yeah, join together. So I'm gonna start to paint the um background, the the the, the base of the cake. So the base of the cake would be like an orange color, okay, that I mix um with the red, um, the yellow and the red together, okay. I think what I'll do is I'll just paint the whole thing like this first and then I will paint the um, boxes after that. So we have a little center sitting here. Okay. Holding a present. Okay. And then this is going to be like, this is the uh, base. I'm going to use a bit of shadow later on to paint um, to paint the rest, I will just fit in the shadow to paint the details so that you can, can see the details of the, the cake, okay? Because it has the fondant, fondant. I, I hope I pronounce it right. I think I am. You know, yeah. I remember the last time we actually did like a Discord uh, meetup, kind of like to kind of talk on, on Discord, like a voice uh, chatting thing. And it was pretty fun. Um, I don't know if this time we're gonna do it. Yeah. I think it was because I had I received a Christmas present from um from I think from Electropony, if I don't remember wrongly. Yeah, she sent to me something and I, I received it and said, yo, 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 let's do it. <laughs> let's do a uh uh open like a unboxing thing and she was like yeah and we decided that we're gonna use discord um, instead of youtube yes yes correct it was the 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 uh jean uh the jean set i'm actually still using some of the colors i think the grand green appetite is from there um i haven't used it as much as i would like to but I, I think it's a very nice and beautiful set to have. So if you're like looking for a set um, of colors, uh, you you love um, this, you love Green Appetite. If you love, um, what's the other one? Uh, I think Opera, right? There's also Aussie Gold, Aussie um, Deep Gold Deep, if I'm not wrong, or is it Aussie Red Gold? If you love these colors, um, the colors that you can use in the botanic painting, you know, you would love this, this set. So I think I featured quite a lot of colors from there, if I'm not wrong. Okay, the problem, now I realize the problem with my favorite uh, Indian red. is It's kind of patchy. Can you see? Oh no, what happened? Oh no, what happened to my camera? Is it better now? Okay, it's better now. <laughs> no, it's not just you. It's 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 out of focus. No, it's back in focus. I think it's back in focus. I'm so sorry that happened just now. <laughs> yes, it's good now. I just realized, you know, just painting away. I'm like, hey, hey, I'm just talking and talking and then, hmm? <laughs> something is wrong. So sometimes I think, um, I think this interesting set of colors is that they, you know, they, they are layerable. I don't know if that's this word called layerable. Um, like the colors do get darker uh, if, you, if you want to. Like if you put on another coat, they will get darker. And you are able to paint uh, quite a lot. Of, uh, you, you'll be able to get a lot of variation with just one color. So another thing that we have been thinking of or like we have kind of toy with is actually to use one color only 
and just use it for painting. I think some of these colors are actually good for that, especially this Indian red that I have from Rembrandt. It's a bit patchy um, because it has this property, um, but it's one of those colors that if you use it thick, like if you use it thick, it's opaque and it's so dark. If you use it um, like less opaque, you get a really nice, um, sweet, very sweet, beautiful color. So that's that's the difference. Um, that's about this color. So I, I'm going to just put in some of the details because without details, we can't really see anything. So I'm just going to add a bit of more red. Red. Yeah, so we get a really dark maroon, brown, like maroonish, maroon color. Okay. And I'm just going to add some of these details in here. Okay, so these are the shadows that's super important to have and then I'm just gonna add a bit of that here have a darkened color so you have a bit of shadow so this is a lot actually if you look at this it looks simple but actually all these little details that you know we, we have to kind of like make sure that we put in because otherwise this is gonna look like a really plain looking one oh, it's looking very good thank you <laughs> Oh, you, you want to watch the evil Santa being painted? Well, evil Santa is still not evil. He's still looking really nice, but he just had one arm, one big eye, and one small eye, like e unequal size eyes. <laughs> oh, Kaidusa says, yes, the dioxazine violet one color challenge. <laughs> It's going to be a torture Alice challenge because I hate, absolutely hate the oxygen violet. <laughs> Maybe we should do a challenge where we use all the colors that we hate. Kaidusa, can, can each of you give, name me a color that you hate? One, just one color. Just name me one color. Jill, um, Rhapsody, Kaidusa, Paolo, Horsewoman, um, Nancy, uh, who else? Um, Chris is asleep. Um, no, Chris is downstairs. Um, he's doing his work stuff, so he, he escapes it. <laughs> Zhu Huan, if you're around. <laughs> yes, we should, right? Challenge each other to do our nemesis color. <laughs> Recipe says, oh, the cake's looking very good. <laughs> it looks like a fancy cake. Yeah, it's very fancy. <laughs> I, believe, I, I believe I wouldn't want to eat it because I think it will taste disgusting. <laughs> I don't like fondant for some reason. <laughs> I think it's just very sweet, pasty stuff. <laughs> Perhaps the pieces. I you make, make it into a gym. <laughs> it goes morphing from bad to good. Oh, then maybe there's something. Oh, you know what you guys can do? You guys can also paint a center, like you can paint a uh, crazy center, um, paint an angry center, and we can put him anywhere or different centers everywhere. That'd be so funny. <laughs> Nancy says she don't have a color she don't like yet. What? Nancy is so nice. You like all the colors? Really? Hosuman says does Chinese white count? Well, it's a color, but there's nothing we can do with it. <laughs> I guess that's the problem with Chinese white. <laughs> Kaidusa says, oh, I have a love-hate relationship with cobalt violet. I love the colors, so it's always so gummy. You know, the gumminess could be because of of what they've used um, in the uh, at, in the binder maybe the binder they got to use a lot of the gum arabic that's why it's gummy you know that's the reason why they call it gum arabic so it could be due to that I don't know I'm just postulating I'm no like I don't think I'm an expert here but I think the reason it's gummy is because it is uh, yeah like it's that's too much gum arabic <laughs> Oh, Nancy says, it's because I haven't used all the colors yet. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I noted, I noted um, Kaidusa's worst, like, color that he doesn't like is actually um, uh, violet, uh, cobalt violet. Oh, no, I hate dioxazine uh, purple and you hate cobalt violet, so we can have two purple. Can someone throw in a purple that you don't like? And then we will have, like, a monochrome, with just two colors, <laughs> just purple. Oh, Kaidusa. oh, Kaidusa, I love to find a cobalt violet brand that's strong and spread nicely. Also, it's a common pro problem. Like, everybody could not find one. 
Oh, okay. It could be then. I mean, I, I think if you do see this in a lot of brands, it must be a, a, a color issue. Like maybe this color is just not beautiful. Like it's just, that's just the best like you can get from it. Um, and yeah, I think just don't expect too much from it. I don't know. <laughs> oh, Mei Liang said, I was just looking at my Mei Liang palette and my Paul Rubens palette. I haven't opened all the half pens yet. <gasps> no, why not? <laughs> you you have new colors. You should try it. Like you should try opening them up and like try out swatch out all the colors. We would love to see you swatch them. Please swatch your Paul Rubens palette. I will share with everybody. Kairusa says, I think the pigment is just quite... Oh, probably. Oh, who's horseman says the two purple snakes together would be pretty. Yeah, maybe we could do that. Yeah. Like one is like non-granulating. One is super... Like one is granulating. But just don't use too much dioxazine violet because that's going to overpower your cobalt. Poor cobalt violet is going to be gone. Like nobody will see it at all. The dioxazine is going to like <laughs> cover everything. So I think that's something that we need to think about um, if we're going to do this challenge. Yeah, but it's something that we can do. I think it'd be fun um, to do something like that. So who's up for it? I'm up. I think I'm okay. You know, we could we could do something like, like this. It'd be kind of fun to do. Yeah, like to have uh, maybe next, the next... Oh, could we also have... Uh, what do you call it? Which color? Um, the ultramarine pink. Would it be weird to have ultramarine pink, cobalt violet, and dioxazine purple? Yeah. Like, somehow, we just have to talk about limited palette um, challenge. And, and, and we would love um, um, Nancy to share a swatch of her picture of her new palette with us so that we can um, see all those the colors that she um, the new colors that she has oh this is the part that I think we need to spend some time on she's getting all these like details in this is something that I think we just we can't we can't help like we can't like run away from there's no easy way to paint this decoration I think oh I'm getting it wrong okay I'm supposed to like do it this way instead I'm bad at it like I try my best but I'm thinking I'm quite bad at making them look uh, what do you call that making it look um, natural or like realistic I try my best <laughs> yeah this is gonna take a while like getting all these details wow this one is no joke this is a lot of details I, I'm just gonna like kind of not be too accurate about it I don't know how that would work yeah ah there hold on how oh, Kaido says this. I think it would be it could be fun. Yeah, we could. Ah, Daniel Smith's Potter Pink. Potter's Pink is difficult to rewrite. Yes, I agree. <laughs> Add two other colors to the purple that that are yucky. <laughs> so a center to. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I know, right? The list is just going so long. Like go go longer and longer. Ah, uh, oh oh, Paolo says I don't think you can build the pigment further and you always and it will always have that behavior it's the oh really so there's nothing you can do like even if i buy another set i, I buy um i i try to mill as hard as i can there's no way that i can like reduce the size serious and like from the chemistry of it is that is that the reason is that because it's just that big and there's no way we can actually reduce it even more yeah, if that's the case, I guess, then, yeah, this is just something that inherent, inherent, you know, to the paint, and there's nothing we can do about it. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, yeah, I think that's one way to be wet um, from the tube would be to, be, to add uh, glycerin. I recently got some glycerin, and I, I think it's, um, I do have some tubes of paints that kind of harden, and I think that's, maybe something I can try like I actually got like you know like those half 
like small tubes, the fine little tubes that you kind of squeeze out like maybe most of it and you still have a wee bit that's at the top. And that like I have a lot of those tubes where it just kind of like um it's just kind of quickly just um uh just dried up and those yeah I have I think it's something that I can do. Like yeah, adding glycerin maybe it's a good idea to just kind of get those things to come out um in, in solution um and then you can use them. Yeah. Mm. Oh, Tadusa says, I once did a monochromatic painting with the amethyst. Ah, uh, yeah, that's really nice. Amethyst is one of those beautiful colors. Do you finish up, like, how big was the painting? Do you finish the whole tube? <laughs> it's very expensive, though. It's like one of those most expensive Primatech colors. Yeah, mono. Okay, I think that's it. Next next challenge, we're gonna use all purple. Like, January is gonna be an all purple. Like, you don't have to use a particular color, but you can, you only use purple color. And I'm gonna use uh, dioxazine. <laughs> purple because I have so much of it. Okay. Yay, let's, let's do it, let's do it. <laughs> oh, it's a small one. Oh, it's really looking good. Oh, thank you. But Senna is not looking evil, though. Senna is looking... Santa is looking, uh, he has no look yet. He has one big eye and one small eye though. <laughs> I'm trying my best to make it look. I think a lot of this has to do with the details that you can get. Like if you have the time, you know, if I have a lot of time and I could do all these details, I would actually do it. Because it would make a lot of difference to how the painting would look. Yeah? Yeah. So. I still have these presents to do. I think this is the most, I believe this is the most um, time consuming part, just painting these uh, little details on the cake itself. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you sold it? Oh, that's nice. Oh, and I think Horsewoman said that she actually did it with uh, a monochromatic chrom chrom painting with a uh, shadow violet. Yeah, I think that Shadow Violet is beautiful. It's one of the one of those colors that I really like. Other than um, Moon Glow, yeah, like Shadow Violet is nice. I give you a pass on the not so evil center. <laughs> it's a center with uh, one big eye and one uh, with with uneven eyes, um, big and small eyes. Um, yeah, try. I know, like you know how like like people are giving you like the evil eye and then get one eye big and small so i think that's how senna is like now he's he's not evil but he's just giving you an evil eye yeah yeah because he doesn't want to be <laughs> i don't know my center is a he's a nice center yeah but he, he's just a little bit irritated so he's giving you an angry like a like an eye like a yeah yeah, so this is this part is I think the difficult part where you have to like work on um the details of the the stars the snowflake I'm sorry snowflake yes the details of the snowflake I'm not good at it I'm not a detail person you know I like I mean if I have a pen I can yeah but if I'm painting I prefer um a little bit more like loose in concept conception conceptual like yeah loose loose way like you know like the um what's that word you know when people impressionist kind of style yeah i think i'm more an impressionist when it comes to like painting but it, when it comes to drawing i i like to draw details yeah yeah <gasps> mm -hmm. hold on hold on hold on ah Cole has a watercolor additive to help flow be ah beside the uh, aqua really they do have is it is it the aquasol I thought it's the aquasol thank you horsewoman for the for that yeah <laughs> I think the tree looks okay yeah it's it's the green appetite I think <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. Am I going to put a star on a tree? Yeah, I am. Actually, the star is there. It's just that the star doesn't look very um, special. Okay, just give me a moment. Let me try to, like, define the star because it's not looking... It's not, like... Yeah, I'm just trying to define it so that you guys can see it. 
I need to line it though. Uh, I'm hoping to get a nice dark brown color. Um, my brush is not thin enough, so I can't really line it. And I'm a little bit worried like it might look really weird because I yeah. I'm trying to line it. I'm bad at drawing stars. Like my stars don't look like star shape. Ah look. Oh I'm sorry my star don't look nice. I'm trying my best. <laughs> so yeah, like it's it's horrible. I think it's a horrible looking star. I will try to uh yeah loosen it. I don't like it looking so obvious. Let me just kind of loosen. Like giving it like a glow kind of thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. What do you think of the star? <laughs> Always a pen to line it. Okay. <laughs> nah, I think I'm just gonna like let it just glow, you know, it's a star. So I'm just gonna let it glow. I'll see how. Yeah. Just <laughs> You see the star is there. Uh, oh, coal also adds synthetic ox. Oh, how does that work? Ox gold, uh, ox gold to to it. Like, how do they get synthetic ox gold? Hey. Oh, okay, so they didn't. It's like maybe papyri. That's why they didn't let you know. Like they didn't want you to know their secret. So they said, no, this guy knows our secret. No, no way we're gonna tell him that, you know. So that could be the reason that they didn't even want to tell you if you're right. So I'm just gonna paint little, like, I think I'm not finished yet. I'm just jumping around. I'm so sorry. I don't know. You know, sometimes I wonder if I have, like, ADHD. I sometimes just jump around when I paint. I'm sorry. If you're watching me paint and you go, like, why is she jumping around? Maybe I have ADHD, that's why I'm jumping around. Yeah. And sometimes I just, like, I don't know. When I talk, I can jump from, like, topic to topic, you know, without even thinking too much about it. And and people go, like, hey, 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 hold on. <laughs> are you talking about this? Why are we talking about something else? I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> you know. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, oh, it's a detergent. Ah, I see. Yeah, housewoman, could you go and go to Golden and ask them? Like, go to on the tour and ask. Like, grab one of the the person making the paint and ask. Oh, uh, do you, what do you actually put in your your paint? Oh, it does. Oh, it's a detergent. It emulsifies fat, just like the real ox gall. I should go find out. Like, what is an ox gall? Like, is it a detergent? Oh, a lot of people jump around. Ever watch artists in a few? Oh no, I have not. Interesting. Like they jump around. Like what I mean, like when they paint. Ox, gall, um, ingredient, uh, chemical, chemistry, chemistry. Is that such a thing? It's a bowel soap. Mixed with alcohol, used as a wetting agent. Oh, you can get this actually, the powder from Chemical Lab. That's interesting. Let's not say what it is though. This is so interesting. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Houseman says, I heard, oh, Golden is buying the pan pastel line. Where is Pen Pastel from? Is it a independent uh, manufacturer? I think I've seen it in some of the shops. Um, like in Singapore, we have, um, like always go to this place called Overjoy. I think they have like the Pen past um, Pastel. But I haven't, I haven't used Pen Pastel before. I don't know how you actually use it. Do you actually like use it like a uh, makeup? <laughs> like an eye shadow palette thing like you just the, how do you fix it on the paper have I asked this question before you know I sometimes do have like I've seen people use it Um, I think it, it's nice it's soft and it looks so delicate but I really don't know how people fix it how do you make sure it does not 
like come off when you rub it. Uh, that kind of stuff, you know. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, hold on. I got kicked off. Okay, there. Oh, okay. Paulo says, it's a greenish brown liquid mixture containing cholesterol, lecithin, tauroconic acid, and glycoconic acid. Uh, I think it's the lecithin, probably the lecithin, yeah, that's causing that, that's helping it. Aha, uh -huh. yeah, I think you, you, so you, 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 you point that out too. Uh, so could you just add lecithin to, 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 our, to the paint instead of like using ox gall? Since that's the ingredient, you know. Oh, hi, Pain. Welcome, Pain. <laughs> well, I try. I think I still have tons of details to do. <laughs> it will take me a while. No, 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 don't, don't stop. <laughs> I think it's nice to figure out how things work so that we can, we can, we can work it ourselves. We can improve ourselves or we can understand things better. I don't know. Oh, Kadusa says, I used to use it with color pencil drawings, oh, but you use a spray ad adhesive after afterwards or a workable fixative spray. Ah, okay. Pen pastel are soft pastel in jar used with pastel matte paper, which has tooth and hole. So you got to use it with a special paper. So can't you use it with a normal... Like how? What do you use um for pastel? What do you use? What what paper do you use? Is there like a pastel paper, or can you use anything else? Like a, you know, I don't know. Um, you can't use watercolor paper, right? Because it's not a watercolor. So I wonder what kind of paper you use. Like the same kind of paper you use with um color pencil. Actually, what color? What paper do you use if you use what uh color pencil? Do you use like a hot press, or it can be anything? Oh no, I think it can be those like uh, multi-media uh, paper, right? Yeah, I think so. So I'm just trying to get the details. I'm so sorry I'm so slow today. Um, but we want the details in here because we want this to look like extra special. Oh, when you use it with the pastel mat, you don't need fixative. But what can you use on the pastel mat? Uh, can you use like watercolor on it or other you can you just or is it just pastel Paulo says you use sandpaper or pastel mat which is a special special paper by spraying cork oh into a sheet of paper oh that's interesting oh oh that's cool you can use water media oh, I've not tried it Okay, I don't know. It's just something that I I don't know. I feel so ignorant. <laughs> I've been using watercolor all my. I would I can't say all my life, but it, it's just something that I think I have still have so much more to explore that I haven't really gone into like other, um, other forms, other other medium, but I think it would be difficult. I it would not. It would not. Uh, I I I might. Um learn more or it might benefit i think it'll be a benefit it will be beneficial for me to try out other mediums because you know i've been doing watercolor for so long um i can't say i know everything but you know um it can help me to kind of understand what i can do with different medium if i try them out so far i haven't really tried anything out <laughs> like other than watercolor so that's that's a shame i guess um yeah so, yeah, I don't know which one I would start with. Pastel seems very messy. Is pastel messy? Seems like the kind that would fly. Like if I have a fan blowing behind me, the pastel powder will fly everywhere. <laughs> I can use pay oh water to spread pastel. Oh, it's a pigment plus chalk plus gum Arabic. Oh, but it's dry form. I see. So it's like, hold on. Is it like 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 um? What do you call that? Eyeshadow powder? Feels like eyeshadow powder to me. Maybe I could use eyeshadow powder to paint. That would be kind of close to, to pastel, isn't it? Uh, color pencils can be used as well. Ah. 
Yes, yes, I've tried gouache. I've tried uh, gouache, acrylic gouache. But those are kind of like watercolor because they're kind of still liquidish. But if you're talking about like pastel, I've not tried pastel crayons before. I've not tried the pen pastels before. And I tried oil pastel, but I don't like it. It's so smelly. <laughs> Oh, pastel mats can be used with watercolor in... Oh, I have Intense! I have, I have, I have. <laughs> I can try that. I do have Intense. Oh, can we use the watercolor Intense for under, later, then use... Like, oh, I see. Then you use what, pencil and pastel on top. That seems like a very interesting way to paint. Yeah, it's something that I think it's, it's um, probably something that I can try. Very interesting. Yeah, one well, of these days I will try. Like, you know, like, I remember last Christmas, I bought the Intense. It's still... I think I haven't really used it much. I probably only used, like, three times or four times. Um, yeah, I'm still using watercolor most of the time. Because we are always... We are doing this limited palette challenge, right? Like, unless, you know, we're going to try out different media... And I don't know. I don't know if that's a good idea. That means I have to buy more <laughs> art <laughs> media. <laughs> Maybe I should continue with watercolor. Since I, I got so much of them, like got so much watercolor. <laughs> oh, okay. Ah, gosh, was actually the first paint you ever used in school. And then acrylate, then oil, and watercolor is the last. Ah, okay. Is that how the school was done? Like, they structured it such that you start with gouache, and then you go down, like, and then finally watercolor last. Is that a particular reason? Did they mention in the school, like, why they do that? Is it because, you know, the other few are easier? Do you actually use, like, um, what do you call that? Color pencils? Ah, layer. La layer, I see, okay. And layer with, with other, with the pencil and, and pastels. <laughs> Last Christmas, I gave intense my heart. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh, they doubled the price. No. Why did they do that? There is a really cheap, nice, handsome paper for dry media that you can use for pastel and paint. Ah, okay. Canson paper is actually one of those, um, I think, good value papers. They are not that bad, and they, yeah, and they paint okay. Like, I think I've used it um, for my short friend challenge um, once or twice, I think. And they are not too bad at all. Like, I think they are quite, quite okay. Some people don't like it, but I think I'm actually, I think they are okay for me. Okay, I don't know about this. I think it's as, as as detailed as I can do now. Like, I don't think I can make this even more detailed. Any more detailed than this. Uh, yeah, probably this part here. Because we need this to stand out. So I'm just going to add a bit of water and just kind of just blend it in. Okay, so... And the good thing about this watercolor paper, it's just, it, you can't do anything you want to it. It's just like an artist's paper. Artist's paper is one of those paper that you can do anything to. So this is, this Baohong paper is also something like that. Like, I actually ordered more Baohong paper. <laughs> I know like last year, like during the Chinese, uh, the, the, the 11 11, I actually ordered a lot of it and to make into a um, watercolor a sketchbook. And then this year, I decided to order loose sheets so that, um, like smaller loose sheets so that I can print stuff on it because it's like, I realize if it's, um, what do you call that? Um, if it's hot press, I figure you can actually print something on it, you know, um, with your inkjet. So I'm just gonna use that for, for, for printing. Yeah. Oh, Nancy says we use temp tempera in school. Wow, I've not used tempera before, but I think it's something that we've, we've heard a few times in some, like some people talk about that a um, few times. I think um, last one got uh, one of our, yeah, he haven't seen him for a while, 
yeah, but he did mention that he wanted to try it. I think even uh, Nancy as well. Yeah, I think mentioned about um, tem tempura before. Um, where should I paint this? Um, okay. So later on, I'll just have to make sure I paint the um, little bowls. Little bowl. Yo. I may have to use a darker color. So I might have to use a darker color for the ribbon. Just kind of missed that out, I think. So, yep, yep, yep. So, do add, let me know if, like, think about what you want to add to the Christmas tree because it's looking very bare. I need your inputs to make this uh, Christmas tree a special one for Crint Riddle Center over here. And I think that's the last present that I'm gonna paint. Um, just sitting at the corner over there. Okay, yeah, yay, yay. Oh, okay. <laughs> So Nancy was talking about um, the egg tempura, which is more expensive, not used in primary school. Okay, it's different. Oh no, in primary school, I remember when I was primary school, we used this thing called poster color. I'm not sure it's the same as tempura. Do you guys know about poster color? <laughs> it's one of those colors that um, it's so thick. It feels like wash. It feels like wash. I think it's a little bit like wash. Um, but it spreads differently i think i've we've been we've been using the poster color from um sakura is it from sakura pentel and sakura yes that's the one oh that's my primary school watercolor uh, pentel i think it's pentel or sakura poster colors yay that's something that i always i remember i used Oh, right, right. It's something that I remember I use all the time. Um, not bad, I think. It's not that bad. <laughs> uh, maybe we should try like doing something like painting with painting with poster color. You know, instead like we can have like limited palette challenge painting with poster color. <laughs> just for the fun of it. I think it'd be fun to, to do. So I, I'm just um, painting. Um, this is with the azo yellow. So azo yellow is one of those colors that is so interesting because it can give you, uh, when you use it like neater, like at a higher concentration, you get a like a brown color, and you use it light, like 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 more diluted, you can get like a really nice um glowing, uh, transparent yellow color. So. It's one of my favorite yellow, so versatile, so fun to use. Okay, so that's that's what I'm doing here. Uh, we do need to add a bit of shadow because yeah, it would look weird if there isn't a shadow. So I'm just gonna add some shadow. And we have a bit of shadows, shadow here, and of course a bit of shadow on for little center who's not his eyes is he, he still have big small like unequal size eyes i'm just gonna work on give him a, a nice i don't know how does evil eye look like let me google like evil eye evil evil face evil face simple evil face simple evil face evil face like what is that face Oh, it's just that, like, I'm just gonna give him, like, a dot. It's gonna be so weird, like, if he looks, he's evil, and he has this little flush, like, cute cheek flush. It's gonna be so, so funny. I'm just gonna give him the eyebrow that looks like that. <laughs> you guys see that? <laughs> what? It's funny because I'm, what? 
recipe. Yeah, like this. No, no, there, there. <laughs> the Adusa says it's funny because I'm doing a painting now with evil looking faces while looking. So, so how do you do a. How, I hope I could invite you to the stream and you could show us what you painted. <laughs> and you'll see how your evil center or evil people look like. So now I'm just going to... He's just angry looking. I don't think my, my, my center looks evil. He just looks angry. It's an angry looking center. Okay. I think I will... I think this is too much. I'm, I'm just going to kind of soften this. I just want to have a wee bit of that color. Um, just to have that shadowish thing going on. And then a little bit like maybe like here. For his uh, angry, angry center, um, just so that we could see his mustache. Uh, oh gosh, yeah. I hope that works. I'll smile. <laughs> you need to give him a smile. I don't know. I think he's a. Oh, let me just use the tissue. <laughs> let me take that bed off. Oh, you just made the white of the eyes bright red and now they look how scary. <laughs> you just jamming. Yeah, it's, it's good to just jam because sometimes, you know, just paint because you want to, not because you need to do like something. I think when you like are relaxed and you don't have like kind of a aim to do something, you know, like sometimes when you paint, you, you, you because you've got to like there is a commission that you need to finish, you don't really enjoy the process. So I think it's fine or it's good to have this, this kind of opportunity to just paint, you know, without thinking too much about it. I don't know if this is a weird, I made it look worse. Oh, <laughs> I got to paint the, 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 the bold again, like the present, the bold and present again. I'm just gonna... Yeah, there you go. Okay. Oh, what? What? This one? This one? The top of it? Um, I use a mixture of azo yellow um, and the Indian red um, for, for this color. So it's a, like a night, some of, it's, it kind of look at, look like a, uh, like an ochre color for some reason. I will also paint this part a bit darker. So just remember that if you do not have a, a good paper, don't try making so many layers because you're gonna end up having a lot of problems with your paper. There's actually like a rim here which I'm a little bit hesitant to add. Um, I might add it so let me look for... Um, this is gonna be the last part. I think I have streamed... Um, this is a good like two hours so I'm just gonna add a rim of uh, yellow here. Um, and we'll make the details later, but yeah, that's like kind of the base, base of the cake. And I will be done with the Christmas cake. I think it's a cute cake. <laughs> Yay! Face I scared. <laughs> what paper am I using? I'm using um, Bao Hong. So Bao Hong, this is Bao Hong. Um, the Chinese Bao Hong Bao Ding paper. I think it's a, the 100% the cotton artist grade paper. And this one is, is good. Um, this is the hot press paper. I've tried hot press and cold press. I love hot press. So yeah. So this is what I've done today. I think it's kind of done. Not 100% done, but yeah, quite done. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy today. I think um, I had fun painting it. Um, and I hope you guys try out um you know when you're free do a little you know, send me the ornaments you have painted so it can be anything you can paint center horses um donuts boba whatever you want okay <laughs> yay <laughs> thank you nancy you said amazon now sells it like what nancy is it the tempera or the the paper thank you yeah i i think it's a good I, I find I think it's okay. It looks really good. I think um, green appetite genuine um, really does um, add a lot of dimension to the to the 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 the, the, the pieces. You know the leaves, 
the leaves. <laughs> Thank you. Yay. <laughs> I enjoyed it. So I hope you guys can share, like, you know, send me uh, your little, all your ornaments so that I can decorate the, the sad looking tree with nothing but some streamers. So you can send me uh, anything you want and I will just put it. And if there's no space on the tree, I can put it on the cake itself. And we'll have a nice little Christmas um, um, card um, for all the wanderers who are watching today, okay? Boba paper. <laughs> Bo Boba paper? Bao Hong, you mean? <laughs> Bao Hong, yes. Bao Hong paper. Ah, I see. Yeah, yeah, go get the Bao Hong paper, okay? I think there are a few types. Yeah, get the 100% cotton uh, artist paper. The one that I'm using is actually called hot press. So hot press is really nice. <laughs> Bubble tea paper. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, why not? It's made from uh, tapioca flour. So I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. So that I think you guys can see the details. Um, yeah. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Nancy gives up. <laughs> and the uh, kind of an evil looking center over here. So I'm just going to use a pencil to draw his little nose. So you can actually see him looking a little bit angry. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, okay, thank you thank you guys and girls. Thanks. Thanks all the uh, all all you uh, wanderers. I hope you guys work on uh, the ornaments. Love to see your work on there. I know like probably Paolo can give us a cake, can give us a cake here. Nancy can give us uh, I don't know, cats maybe. <laughs> and uh Rhapsody too. Okay, since uh, you guys are cat lovers. Okay, thank you very much. I hope you guys have a great rest of the day great um, evening morning afternoon um, i'm gonna sleep i think um yeah together i think um and rap sophie as well i think also singapore thanks nancy thanks jill thanks hostwoman thanks uh, kaidusa thanks paulo uh rap sophie hostwoman did i already say <laughs> uh, kaidusa everyone yeah and and all those who have been around the rjs pro um, yeah, so many of you guys and pain in hiding. Oh wait, hold on. Nancy says she has an idea. What are you gonna tell us? <laughs> Yo, keep it to yourself. Shh, shh, shh. We will know. Just let us know, okay? <laughs> Thank you, Cedric. Bye. Good night. Bye bye. See you guys.